What up, what up, what up? What's going on? Happy Tuesday, happy Tuesday. Oh, man. I'm feeling a little bit better. You know, last week with that whole like Nipsey thing and me like feeling oh. it for the whole week. You were in your feels. I mean, I'm still in my feelings, but like, you know, seeing the memorial service and all that stuff. And now I'm like, all right, cool. Like I could take a little bit of ease off it. Like now I'm going to start. It's like that being that person that sparks that interest. Um, it, it's a Tupac line where he's like, he may not be the change, but he'll be the one to spark it in someone else. I kind of feel motivated now by Nipsey even more so to be like, yo, I'm going to go out and get it. But if you're new to this podcast, I am Shadell, one of the greater halves of, of, of paging the Simpsons. I am joined by my lovely fiance. Hi, I'm Lauren. I'm really the better half, and he's going to start saying it one of these days. <laughs> one of these days. <laughs> so what's going on, everyone? What's going on? YouTube, Spotify, iTunes, Anchor, all you people. What's what's up? Oh, man, I'm feeling good. I'm just feeling good. It's a nice day out. Uh, I want to oh open up. Oh, my gosh. The, it's been like 70. I want to open up the weekend. windows. Like, oh, finally, no more colds. Like, Don't drink it. Snow, all that stuff. It's probably going to be 40 <laughs> again tomorrow. Man. Um, so... I want to start something different. I know how we normally do the relationship advice, like at the the later end of the episode. We're going to start this episode off with getting into it. I thought this one was interesting, and it kind of rolls into the theme. I say this episode is really like, I guess, relationship focused, whether you're starting one or you're currently in one. I don't know. That's kind of how I'm feeling, how I set this up. condolences to you if you are in one. I like understand. Yeah, I shut understand up. the struggle. Shut up. Oh man. So all right. So we're gonna get into this. So check it. <laughs> oh man. So this is an issue that we had in the beginning stages of our relationship when people used to ask, Oh, um, how'd you meet each other? Oh. <laughs> so this girl says, The way I met my boyfriend, so the girl's twenty one, the guy's twenty, um, is a bit cringy. How do I tell people when they ask? So she goes on to say, so I met my boyfriend a year ago. I posted on my uh, city subreddit that I was lonely. I liked video games and wanted to meet somebody. I got about 50 messages all together. One guy responded that he liked Fallout New Vegas. I love that game. So we exchanged messages about the game. I gave him my number. We text all night. Our first phone call was over an hour. He told me... He was also lonely. I mentioned how I wanted to cuddle badly. He offered to cuddle me. We decided to have a cuddle date. <laughs> what? What? <Okay. laughs> we we met we met up the following week. He picked me up from a local cafe and took me to his I'm assuming place. They just say his. Um we got into his bed and cuddled for three hours. That's, nice. That's how we met. <laughs> I know it sounds a little cringy, but it, it, god damn, but to me, it wasn't. People have asked me how we met, and I've told the truth, though I've abbreviated, an abbreviated version, and people tend to give me a weird look. I don't want to lie, but there's just, uh, is there some way that it's coming across without, oh, sorry, god damn, but is there a way to say it without coming across cringy? I mean, I feel like when she's adding the details, that's when it starts to get a little interesting. I feel like people... Do people want the details? I don't know. Because honestly, if you just say you met online, the most I usually get, people are like, oh, what site was it on? Or like, was it on that, this? Yeah. Or And so I'll tell them the site, but I feel like... And then I just kind of... Sometimes it depends who I'm talking to, but I'll freely like say oh and this was our first date or oh like me and him ran into each other in target before we actually had went on our first date yeah, but that's like, not cringy well, right like so i'll give details but i feel like it's not necessary i feel like pretty much once you say we met online they might ask where but i feel like then you don't really have to disclose the weird details if you don't want to you yeah, know that i'm thinking about it i'm like when we've been asked um how'd you guys meet and you know of course if you guys don't know we met online through okcupid okay four years and change ago um i think that's yeah that's pretty much where it goes from there like yeah yeah i'm thinking let me you don't really have to tell people the details who's who's gonna like what are you gonna say like yeah 
unless it's like your really close friend and i'm just like yo i met this girl on reddit we cuddled the cuddle thing is a bit suspect well that was what was interesting to me i was like oh okay a cuddle date (sighs) with someone that you don't know well yeah that's weird and like you go to the place that's weird i like the cuddling for three hours though with someone i know not like a rando but (laughs) yeah they have those services you know that right i do i do but that's what i mm, i get it maybe that helps someone but like i want to cuddle someone i'm like intimate with like i don't i don't want to just cuddle any old buddy i'm gonna see my way out of this conversation (laughs) because i am not that person yeah according to instagram oh yeah i put up a post like that like my body temperature run hot, runs hot, mm-hmm. which is true. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of guys, yo, mm-hmm. that her body temperature mm-hmm. is just hot. Like mm-hmm. I go out, we went out uh, the other day. I'm wearing jeans. I'm like, I should have wore shorts. Mm-hmm. And then it got colder. I'm like, shoot. I'm mm-hmm. like, I'd probably be fine. I, my body mm-hmm. runs hot. You know what? Yo, I don't need your freaking like hate <laughs> and like your your vibes you trying to send to me. Um, n- yeah. Now that I'm thinking about this, like, I don't know why it's cringy. Just tell people you met I online. Think, I think the cuddle thing is the part that makes it cringy. I mean, yeah, you tell someone I feel like you met if online. You, if you're telling people that, like, oh, or like, then we got together and cuddled, and like that was like the first time you Yo, met or whatever. That's a little because if my if my friend if she was a girl and she told me this and I'm like, so you met some guy you didn't know after you talked for over an hour and text all day and you had a cuddle mm-hmm. date, I guess. Because for... I think that's the first thing is when people hear you've met online, they just want to make sure you've done it the safe way. Yeah, and I think especially we've, older people. We've talked about it for um, how, like how our relationship was, or not re- first date was. Yeah, like we met at like some place and all that stuff where, of course, mm-hmm. people were. That's yeah, that's what, yeah, weird because like they met like they went into some local shop. I'm assuming they probably ate there or whatever, and then they went to his place. And then I think it was the second date is when you picked me up, but you met my parents. Yeah. Was it the second or third? I think third. It was one of those, and you, oh, yeah, maybe it was. Yeah, I, I think it was. Yeah. yeah, so, like, it took us till then, and then he had met my parents on top of it, so it was, like, kind of, you know, threatening. So, like, you're nah, picking her really, up, bro. but, but you know, like, not really, we know what you look like now, so. Not re- Yo, dog, I mean, you could forget. There's a lot of black people that look oh like me. Oh, my gosh. I was on Instagram the other day, and I saw some black guy with glasses. I was like, yo, you look just like me. I see why people are like, yo, are you? And I'm like, no, that's not me apparently people tell me i have like a familiar face there's so many people that like will be like you have one of those faces and i'm like okay cool bro <laughs> great <laughs> great <laughs> congratulations but yeah i think that's the main concern here is just like when you meet online you still have to be smart about it but See, other but- than that i mean it's it's getting it's pretty normalized nowadays okay so my essentially what we're given to this girl i would straight up be like it's normal. Just say you met online. Yeah. You didn't have to get into the details. Like, if they say, like... Because the first, furthest we have gotten has been, like, what site? And mm. it's really just... Set, like, you could say Reddit. I mean, yeah. some people are going to be I'm like... Sure that some, seems, people, some people meet on Facebook or Instagram or wherever. Some people like, wait, who you know, cares? All types of things. It doesn't yeah. have to be a dating website. Yeah. That is true. Yeah. Yeah, and it should really just be there. Like, because what are they going to say? Like, like... Damn, I wouldn't go into the details. If you're that ashamed of it, just say you met on Reddit, you guys liked video games, and it started from there. Well, like, I that's think it. The, the shame, too, could be stemming from people, you know, people are mean. So, like, I'm sure they I mean, could be making her feel that way. Uh, well, it's not that they're mean. You're just worried about what someone has to think. Because I, I don't think anyone's going to say it to you, but they're going to think it. Because I'm thinking that as soon as someone tells me, like, yo, mm-hmm. you went on a cuddle date for a couple hours of someone I just met. Let's have a cuddle date. I like that. Like I told you, I am not that person. Let's have a cuddle day. That is not happening. Cuddles. I'll, I'll, we can do it for like 10, 15 minutes. <laughs> okay. We'll compromise. We'll do it for like an hour and a half. I, what, dog, <laughs> I, I said 10, 15 minutes. We're not doing that. <laughs> but I'm it was three that. hours uh, here, so we'll meet in the middle. I, for them, not for us. <laughs> Shoot. Um. So segueing into the, the next topic here, because... Now that you touched on it, was uh, do's and don'ts of like your first date. I thought this was interesting because I see, like, I had these struggles. You probably not so much of like, man, before you, like, I, we've talked about this. Like, I tested the waters because I didn't know what to do for a first date option when I went to go see a girl. Like, I just want to know, like, for the people that, 
I don't know. I feel like there's a certain etiquette to it. Is this an article? It's or not an we article. Just We're just it? talking. Oh, okay. I mean, I think girls go through it too because, like, for example, you know, girls always feel like they have to put their best foot forward too. So we have to look a certain way yeah, and yeah. act a certain way. Like, I think it's both. Like Wait, you don't like as, as as a no I'm saying do's and don'ts like things that you would do and things you wouldn't do right so I feel like that could be in how you act or look and stuff too yeah so what would you not do and do like don't well like I wouldn't okay and this is I guess from oh God I don't know how to word this nowadays but like I guess a traditional feminine kind of point of view what because I no because I what? know that a lot of females they can want they want to act or look a certain way Dog, that's fine right, too. Right, right, yeah you, you're being so, super pc i'm I gonna am. be mac i'm gonna be mac for a second because oh i can't gosh. with you i can't like you said it'd be like saying, i in this box of this thing of that like yo all right because so there's a spectrum i'm gonna tell you straight up if i'm taking a girl out i'm already assuming it's gonna be like this old school thing where i gotta pay for the date I, I, that's shoot. not even what i was going towards i was but more you're being so, so i was PC. gonna talk about how i like dress and stuff and how i look which from my point of view what i would want to do is like yeah you put on a little bit of makeup you put on like a it like for the date we were going on it was like casual enough but also not sweatpants and like baggy t-shirt and that whole thing um Yo, if if I if I meet a girl, for example, if I met, met a girl online and we go on our first date, and I don't even know you like that because we talked through text most likely, and you show up in like some hoodie and and sweatpants, and it's not that but type of vibe. Oh my gosh! But that's we didn't what talk I'm about saying. It beforehand. Maybe that's not you and I, but that could be other people that are fine with that. Nah, nah, that because that shows me right off the jump. Okay, so that's one thing. Yo, if you're a girl or a guy. Don't show up unless we talked about it beforehand in like some like staying at home type of clothing. Like don't come up with sweatpants. Like that could be like second or third date, something like that. But my first date, I'm trying to understand and get an idea of if I want to deal with this person. If you come out looking like that, I feel like you're, I'm giving you the okay to be like, yo, you could dress like that no matter like what event. What, you, I mean, <laughs> you just sat there and looked at me like, I, I, mean, I don't they're, know. I mean, they're not going to go to a ball like that. But, 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 know, but I'm just, I, I feel like the first date is probably the most important. It tells well, yeah, me, that's why I'm saying like first impressions are big. So that's, I think, why it's like, and again, we went on a casual date, so I wasn't going to be in a gown or anything, but I, duh. I but I also wasn't in sweat. So like, you better not be. I'm going to, yo, nah. And like, you better be on your best behavior. So for the people okay. that don't wow, know you, you sounded like a little like macho uh, man over here whoa, you better take that? it down a notch <laughs> you sound you better not yo. excuse me <laughs> telling me what to do yo. you better not do that <laughs> so we, we ew we went on a ew oh, not we god damn i went on a, <laughs> before i met you of course so the people that don't know the story um before i met my current fiance current Omar, my only current excuse me current i mean you know let me stop let me stop knock on wood plastic whatever this is <laughs> oh <laughs> so i went on a date and stupid me yes uh, did not oh my god and stupid me did not know that going on a first date to the movies is a dumb idea i'm gonna tell that for all the guys out there don't take some girl that you have not seen in person to the movies as a first date and if you are go on a dinner then movie yeah dinner and movie that i learned because i'm like i felt like if i would have just taken you out just to the movies and that would have been it i'm not sure where we would have gone i'm not sure where that would have happened because hmm. i'm like I we want to know each other we'd just be sitting right. there silent watching the show well there's that but i don't know too because I wonder because you know how you and I we like then we sat outside big lots and we like we we yeah. like talked for a while. I wonder if that would have happened after the movie. Like say it depends on who you are too because like say we like liked each other's company we wanted to prolong it like we did there. We would have just like found somewhere to like sit and chat kind of thing. So. But you kind of are leaving it to chance because it could not go that way. So I'm not sure if I ever said this to you, but I I kind of had that like planned in my head as far as like 
what? Right. <laughs> so, so, so check it, check it, check, check, check this out. So I thought in my head, I'm like, well, uh, for our first date, we want bowling, and then we want to go eat at a, a Chili's close by. So um, I, in my head, it was my, right my brother's birthday, my little brother's yes. birthday, yeah. and I was like, what? yo, a dope idea if this person is with it is like we could walk and talk. And I can oh. find a gift. It was planned. It wasn't no. on purpose. I mean, it wasn't. It wasn't by accident. What? Because I was like, if this person's with it, because yo, I do it with my friend, so I'm like, might as well do this with this other girl. That I I'm feel talking. bamboozled. Like it was. It was planned I in my head. I thought it was natural. Nah, bro. Because <sighs> that's why I, I feel duped. At the time, <laughs> that's what me and my, my friends did. We just like walked and chilled through stories. So I did the same thing I did with with them with you. <laughs> I'm surprised I never said this, but yeah, and it was a uh, yo. Stop it before you even get into that. Like it was a great conversation because like we we finished bowling and I think we we weren't hungry I think or or something. Well, yeah, because it, I don't know, it wasn't dinner time yet or something like that. I don't know. So I was like, okay, perfect time. And like the we went to like some big lots that was close by. And we we're like, okay, we can just head over there, um, and like get freaking what do you call it and get like get something for my brother and we like just wandered through the store i picked up some random toy that i'm like yeah he like he was a kid at the time and uh what do you call it we just walked around the kid. store was a kid still not a kid uh, apparently whatever <laughs> and we just walked around the store and talked and um it got later in that night and it, we still weren't like ready to go so like we just chilled outside on and just curb. like just started talking <laughs> and i think that conversation on the curb, like, that's probably something that we probably both won't forget because we were like, um, I don't know. It was a lot of, like, probing for information. I felt like like finding out what this person's about is, like, yeah. kind of what we figured out there. Yeah. Because it's like, I don't know. Yeah, it was, like, gauging, like, like learning more about each other. Because, like, yo, stri- like, then I was, like, I was on my ambition thing. Like, I'm, I was so with it. Still am. Mm-hmm. Like, still with it. Trying to make things happen. And, like, yeah, that's that's what I was about. And, like, I got the same vibe from you. And I was, like, okay, I dig this. I, I dig how this is working. So, like. What? I'm torn. I think it's cute that you, like, oh, had God. it planned. Yeah, I don't like, like part where of me is like, it. Wait, what? And but. Where's the butt? I don't know. I thought. Missy. Uh, forget the dog <laughs> um i totally thought it was natural oh my god you like played it <laughs> off but like i do think it was cute it was innocent like you you it was a good idea yeah you're welcome i have a lot and, of like, great yeah, ideas because like because it was your brother's birthday it then like led into like family and stuff like that and talking about different stuff yeah like, so was, you know that it wasn't was like some smart. weirdo i mean uh, holla at me still a weirdo holla but. at me <laughs> Holla at me. Mm, yeah, you see, you got to you gotta make those connection points. You got to be like, I got a family. I got a brother. I got a, I got a, th-. you know, you got to make all those like p- pieces to the girl to be like, yo, I'm not a weirdo. Love me. I'm poking you right now for people that aren't watching the YouTube video. Help. Love me. <laughs> so I just want to, like, to, to hop I, back to this. My, just. What? D- no continue <laughs> no to hop back to this it's like hygiene for guys i'm not sure how women handle oh, it i'm assuming they're on point yo nah i nah, feel like a lot of nah, the same stuff applies nah, either nah. way yeah but i feel like women it's a given i know this girl is gonna come through smelling amazing i mean you really don't all right you need to chill <laughs> way to shame all these women out here god no but i'm just saying in general for the guys i don't know I don't know. I'm kind of on the fence. I feel like guys are like, no, nah, I don't smell. I'm good, bro. I'm good. My last shower was like five days ago. Is that <laughs> I thought once a week was standard. <laughs> right? <laughs> Is that not what everyone else does? Like, just certain things like that. Um, uh, see, I'm going to push this on my on my kid if I have a son. Like, so if I'm get, taking you out on a date, I'm paying. Like, until we, like, like for us, I think I paid for a lot of the dates we went on. Um, And then at some point, as we got, like, into a couple more dates, it started being, like, okay, like, I'll pay for the meal and, like, maybe you'll tip or something. Like, we weren't, like... We started switching off. Yeah, there was a little bit of that, too. 
Yeah. But I think at some points they were like, well, I would pay for the meal and like you would put in whatever for a tip or whatever. Yeah. Like it was, it was like as you go through these like dates and you, you know, kind of just stuff, naturally progress. I yeah. feel like if you're hitting it off with someone, you naturally progress. I, or it's not weird to talk about. Like no if you get to a certain point. No offense, but well, it really is no offense. Eh, I guess it is. Okay. Yo, for the, I don't. <laughs> Just like when I, I hate when women just want to sit there and wait for the guy to open the door instead of like opening it for themselves. Yeah, it's got to be like, I, at some point, I feel like we have to have some type of like, not even transition, but like some type of thing where like every now and then you pick up a bill. If right. we're not like like living together and all stuff and like we're still in the dating stages. Didn't you say that you saw one time this woman that literally was standing waiting for the guy to open yeah. the door? I mean, I've seen her a few times. Like literally, just at the door, waiting for the guy to catch up. I feel like that happened to open like a few it. I'm like, ago. ladies, I thought we were on some empowering stuff <laughs> here. I thought we were like independent boss bitches. Okay, like I understand it. I love chivalry. I love you know. Yeah, I'm all about doing it too. Adorable things. Like, I was raised and like that, that kind of thing however if you're literally standing in front of a door staring at it like you don't know what to do with it and waiting a minute till your guy actually gets there come on <laughs> come on come on. Um, so yeah i i feel like the first date stuff just yeah it's like be yourself but oh, be man. but be a little you know everyone's always on their best behavior looking a little extra like that kind of thing um and yeah definitely go somewhere where you can talk and get to know don't one do the another. movies don't yeah. be like me and bring some girls to the not movies for nothing. that could be weird yeah you're talking before you date but then if you just go to the movies and you know like people like to snuggle in the movies or kiss so, I'm or not whatever snuggling with some and girl i just met exactly, on my first date <laughs> but that's what i'm saying is it can lead to then an awkward feeling of like oh, it was right, awkward. i'm just gonna sit here and like and i that- don't know because honestly i did that like <laughs> i don't know if i ever told you this way back when um oh god when was it maybe like freshman year of high school or something um i went to the movies with this guy and i also don't think it we were on the same page i feel like he thought it was as friends and i thought it was a date it was really weird (laughs) so like there was that and yeah like it was it was bizarre i feel like because first of all i like opened the door I don't know. It was weird. So <laughs> What's I wrong with that? Like, but then to let him in. Oh. So it started with that. I would have been like, yo, go. And then, but in the movies, we, I think we snuggled. So like I laid on his arm or something. I'm so confused. But it was like, and then after the fact, it was like nothing. Like it was, it was weird. Like you just don't know how to like act. And you don't like I, it, it was well, the weird. Plus, I, that was like one of my first ever dating experiences. So like it was or maybe it wasn't because apparently it wasn't. I don't know. <laughs> but it's, it was weird. It was weird. And so, that's, yeah, that's why you thing. don't know how to act. Like I was in the, the, the date I went to where we went on the first date for a movie. It's like I'm sitting there judging everything this girl does. I'm like, yeah, like, oh, he told me this. How like she put her feet up on the seat and he's like, mm like he hated that i'm or like something. yo why you do it and then like it was like funny too comfortable it was funny because um after, like a few dates in we went to the movies and you did the same thing but i wasn't as bothered because i already knew you at that point did i really yeah you did that <laughs> for, like the first few dates we had at the movies oh my god and it's like i was like see i, I judged so it off that like if you can, i get it I was almost chopped, guys. I was almost. Yo, if you did on the first day, I'd have been like, uh, I don't know what manners this girl has because I don't know why she's kicking her feet up on these seats. <laughs> like no one was in front of us, but manners. it's just like, <laughs> like damn. <laughs> um, it was funny. I told you this how like we were walking out and we're like, oh yeah, uh, can't wait to see you on the next day. I don't know something corny like that. Yeah, and it's like never, never <laughs> talk together. Never again. again. Remove from social media. Like good, goodbye. Awkward. Yeah. I'm like i'm glad we felt the same so there was no like issue right there. no one tried um interesting. <laughs> interesting now if you are lucky enough to get out of this like first day second day like to, you know to go through the stages and and make it official and all that stuff 
Um, at some point, you may need to use a condom. Or well, I would hope you use a condom. Jeez, oh my God, that was <laughs> that, that was such an awkward segue. Okay. Oh man. So if you guys don't know, if you I haven't heard about it, I was gonna say we going in, but that's also an awkward. Segue. I mean, it is going in. It is going in, protected and covered. Okay. All right. Um, so currently, there is a condom called the consent condom. Now you ask, what is that? What is that? Exactly. <laughs> so it is a four-handed condom. What? Four-handed? Yeah, you need four hands mean? to open it. <gasps> so I, I'm going to tell what? you about it. And we're going to get into our thoughts. So if you, as you see in this picture, oh my um, if I don't forget, if you're watching on YouTube, I may put the picture somewhere here, but who knows? Don't quote me on it. <laughs> <laughs> a plus, guys. <laughs> but. You see, there's buttons on the side, on all four sides of the condom. Then you like, so you need you and your partner to open it, or you and the person it's you're gonna like have a sex game. with. <laughs> um, do they have any other pictures? Oh, come on, they don't. They don't. There's like buttons on the side of it, and you pretty much push the buttons in, and it's like opens up the the condom. It's like a small box, as you see. And see, here's another shot of it. So. <laughs> I'm already okay. They call it the consent the condom because it takes four people. Well, not four people. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't always have to be an orgy. God. <laughs> it takes four hands to open up this condom. Which is two people, love. Did I just say four people again? No. Okay. But say, I'm four saying, hands. I'm saying, like, yeah, yeah it's... my bad. I'm all over the place. Uh, it takes two people to open up this condom. So, currently, this company is getting roasted because they're like yeah people are like why why do we need a consent condom like all this stuff apparently because we don't know how to communicate exactly nowadays. so uh, i want to know your thoughts in it and i'll lead into <laughs> mine first of all how expensive is that thing uh, i don't know it's because a i feel like thing. all the extra packaging and all the doohickeys and everything i feel like that's the first thing that's going to make people not want to buy it because uh, it's probably crazy expensive i'm like is that that probably is as expensive as the lambskin if not more condoms i don't know why the, like would... the fancy ones that yeah. like are not latex i don't know i think it's only in like um, other countries it's not in the u.s yet <laughs> yet we'll see if it gets here so my other thing is okay my first thought is say someone gets that you can't open it you say screw it and now you end up having unprotected sex sure it's consented sure you guys are like this is cool but like what if you literally struggle to open it and you're like screw it and now someone either gets an std or pregnant I'm like, I don't know. It just seems like more effort that people, especially when you're hot and heavy in the moment, like people are just not going to want to do it. Man, you're taking this to a different approach. I wasn't thinking. That's that's what I'm turned off, like not turned off, thrown off of. That's my thought is I'm like, uh, it's one of those that like in theory, See, maybe, but. This condom would work if it was like the only thing like available as a condom. You probably and you'd probably have to open it before you start getting hot and heavy is the thing. Dog, so, I'm not gonna be like, yo, let's stop. Like, nah, we're gonna just lead right into it. We're just gonna go through. Like, it's not gonna be any stopping. Yeah, but you know, people like it, people's nature is like, okay, if you're like in the middle of it, this is a big reason why people have unprotected sex is like they just they don't want to take the five seconds or whatever to do it. Because they're all in the moment. Yeah, you don't want to take the five seconds. Then you have 18 years. Of <laughs> oh, <that>. God. <laughs> it's true. But no, really. Like, So I feel like Man, it's more effort than people are going to want to See, do. I feel differently. One, I think that this condom has no... It's not going to be successful forever if it is in the U.S. or if it does come to the U.S. One, why am I going to pay for a condom that has a box on it to open up this condom right. when I could just go buy a pack of condoms and not have to deal with this and just tear up open a right. package? right. Number two, why? And also, number three, yo, we need to have a conversation about consent instead of opening up a box of consent condoms. Well, that's the <laughs> like, why? Consent condoms. Well, that's the interesting part of it. It's like, uh, I mean, a lot of people who put on condoms, I'm sure it's consent both ways that you both want it. 
I would hope it is. I I guess I get it, but at no, the same I don't. time I don't. <laughs> no, but like I'm saying, here's where the bigger problem comes in is and this oh god, this gets real bad in my mind, but like No, speak on it. But like <laughs> say that you're trying for the consent, but the person doesn't consent, and then again you say, Okay, then screw it. Now it ends up becoming sexual assault on top of unprotected. Wait, wait, what? Keep, wait, repeat <laughs> that? I'm so lost. Let me say oh that again. Oh my gosh. Okay. Say like the intention was going in. You're going to get consent from this person. Okay. They don't want to. All right. Now uh, this. You're, you're, yo, you're I just feel so like. so far I, left. Well, because I feel like. You're like, you're trying to be like so like in the middle be the pc in the mag but you're like no oh, but yeah. i'm serious that's where my mind goes is i'm like because also what if this ends up making people like mad that they can't open it and like then things then happen, that like, little boy needs to learn something yeah well there's Wh- some bad people in the world what what you're like what if this is what first off i wouldn't even think you have that box if that's the case. i want to know why someone can't just say no and it'd be fine I don't have the answers for you, Sway. Like, that's awful. <laughs> I don't got the answers at all. Because I'm also like, why do we need, like, I haven't go- not Googled it, but I haven't looked it up on the app store to see, like, consent apps. Like, I've never seen one. I'm like, how does that work? Like, like similar to- There's like, an app? Well, I'm pretty sure there's an app for consent. Why? There's an app for everything. Do you not know? But that's why? Apple's slogan. But there's why? an app for everything. Wait, isn't this, like, the sex button thing that we talked about? That's what about? I was saying, yeah. Where it's like- Ping, want to have sex? Ping, sure, meet you in five. Well, that's why, like, there's apps that will like, <laughs> like, literally do that. And they probably give oh notifications to that person that you're Here's my thing, with. again, and I think I probably said this in that episode, is, like, if you cannot talk to the person you're having sex with about sex, whether it's what you like, don't like, if you want to do it, if you don't want to do it, whatever, don't have sex with that person. It's just that simple. Because you are literally doing something so intimate and vulnerable with this person emotionally and physically you can now talk to that person i understand in the beginning stages Man, it could be tough. kind of awkward that's but tough. like what if i want to have a one night stand and hit it off with some chick you have a point i'm know. also not a one night stand kind of person so i i mean what personally uh, i <laughs> i was expecting you to be like well you shouldn't be doing that yeah <laughs> like damn I'm like well you're probably right i'm like okay, I, okay. we were talking hypothetically if that's what you're saying i'll just i'll see you later oh man um man like i don't like i feel so like like eh, uh, eh. Uh, like when i have a kid I'm going to just be like, yo, stay away from, well, a son, more so. Well, and also a girl. I'm like, son, yo, stay away from women. <laughs> what? what? That'll be easy. Stay, what? What do you mean? Yeah, that'll be easy for a pubescent boy. I'd be like, Let no. Let me just stay away from yo, him. Sure, I my dad steal, said to, so I, I'm going to do it. I will instill the fear that if he doesn't, he something bad will happen i don't i can't think of anything off the top of my head there was okay so disclaimer so i'm not a Grey's anatomy kind of person i don't watch that show however a couple weeks ago when the like all the articles were talking about the episode with the rape kit like i just had to watch it so i watched it a couple weeks ago girl i got so emotional that's what you watch yes oh my god no you don't understand if you watched it you I'm feel it not watch it i don't want that in my anyways, psyche like so, what uh what ended up happening towards the end is I don't know who these characters are. So sorry to anybody who watches it. But there's this guy. He was with this woman. They're like, I don't know, maybe the 30s, 40s. I don't know. And they were talking about, I think it was her son. If you guys watch the episode, you, you know what I'm talking about. They were like in an ambulance and they were talking like about how to how to talk um, to the sun or whatever um and at the end the guy's like in a restaurant even though he i don't think he's the dad dad but like he's talking to him like a father figure and what was the analogy he used oh my god it was genius um oh my god God. i have to look it up now but it was like literally some analogy that a kid a teenage boy would understand about maybe it was playing a game or maybe something and basically like oh and if 
you know, the girl just doesn't feel it anymore than like you said like it was it, it made perfect sense it was like very genius the way they like kind of put it together and that kid even he was like so you wanted to go out to talk about this like he took like he was kind of taken aback but like it got the point across that in that same episode of course they had to address where it starts is that like as a teenager you need to be taught consent you need to be taught how to handle the other gender and all that and especially yeah. like yeah w- with boys well yeah so and it, it's like it's it's just not that difficult well, that's the that's the thing when i say like especially <laughs> when i have a son like i'm dropping jewels like not to go back to the race thing because you guys are probably like yo should i stop talking about race yeah we see no color remember i see a lot of colors <laughs> um but it's like, yo, I'm going to tell my son, like, yo, this is how you move as, well, it's going to be a mixed baby, but you're going to be seen as black. This is how you move as a black kid. Like, like this is what people view you as, like, all this stuff. So, like, all that. And then, like, I want to, like, like how my mom pushed it on me, where it's, did she even push it on me? I can't even think that far back. I don't know. Somewhere it happened where, like, I open the doors for people, like, whether it's a, a man or a woman, whatever. Like, it's just nice to right. do. Or, like, I say, excuse me, like, yo you talking about the excuse me thing oh like yo like we'll be passing someone like at the grocery store or something and you're like you don't even say anything and i'm like excuse me you don't hear it you whisper it like a little mice like what you like oh my god excuse me seriously no (laughs) (laughs) i don't hear it from you at all we went to go sit down um yesterday at some event oh my god can we not we're getting so far off topic (laughs) no we're not this is right on topic no because we're talking about men well, boys what so what does it have to do with me and manners uh, the point is yo i'm giving my son our son gems jewel dropping on his butt like there's so many things like yeah like i grew up with with three women in the house like i like hit me too you just <laughs> like i i yeah you just oversee and make sure you treat everyone the same like there was never any like I just don't get it. It's like, it's not hard to stop. Like, if someone doesn't want to do anything anymore, like, they're not in the mood or whatever. Yeah, I never just, understood that. You just stop. Like, yo, and dog, like, just go jerk off somewhere. Exa- that's what I was going to say. Like, if you are really, like, you can't hold it in, you can't, like, you're dying, just do it yourself. Like, whenever you're, like, like whenever you're not in the mood, I'm like, I, whatever. It's like, it's not. I'm like, I'm not, yeah. It's not worth losing the respect of that person and not worth traumatizing a person. Trauma. No, like really. Oh, it's being real. That's that's a Meek Mill song. That's oh song I'm playing. Okay. I'm playing that when we go to the gym now. That's great. <laughs> oh, I was man. like super serious. And he's I, no, no, I'm ser- I'm with you though. And like when it comes to the girls and like raising them, it's like also like I, voicing. Yo, women, I'm gonna be so. If we have a girl, I'm gonna be so like happy and also sad because it's like you have to like tell them all these things. To, like be careful of. Cause like yo, like some like not even I want to say all guys. Some guys are just like eh, you have to be like watchful of it. And I'm not saying I'm perfect, but I know like yo, I shouldn't be doing this to a girl. I shouldn't be doing that. Like I never understood like like the whole like guys that like put things in women's drinks at like clubs or events and things like that. Like that's like, awful. Like all these things that like, like you have to like prep your girl. To you? you have to prep or like I'm sure that guy has like a sister or mom or something. It's like come on, like I I never understood that. Mm-hmm. And like that's mm-hmm. what, uh man, it bugs me. It bugs me out with like for all women. That. It's like if we had a daughter, it's like I would teach her to voice what she has to when she has to. So if she doesn't want it or she's done or whatever, then you say it and you act on it. Like you, the stop. Like don't don't just like sit there and yeah. take it or pretend it's okay when it's not because that's what then leads to trauma and, and I feel it's not good like for example like if you have a kid like let's say we have like a boy and girl in the future and it's like you don't teach your son where if, if your sister's telling you hey stop doing this and you don't like you have to be the parent to like enforce it and be like she said stop you like i feel like even at like that age something like well, that and like, the interesting part there is it has to go both ways too of, well yeah but i'm, I'm saying so more whole, emphasis on on i that guess also. but it's it, i guess that comes with the topic where people are like would you raise your kids the same 
or different. I you think can't though. There's a lot of things I think that should be similar though. Of course, but there's some things you can't that can't like. I don't have to worry about me telling my son that like, yo, watch out for your drink when you go out places. Of course you, you stop. Hold up. Of course you should be, but not like as crazy as you're gonna be on your daughter as being like, yo, this is real. Like I, I I don't really believe that like you have to you have to treat them the same because you can't because they're not gonna have the same experiences because of the world we're in. Mm-hmm. I don't know. That's just me. That's my thought on it. I don't really feel that's. I don't. I don't. I don't think so. I mean, I feel like you have to teach both though that when the other person says stop or yeah, that's what I'm saying. Done, like pretty much in and any I, context. Like yeah, like I wouldn't. I feel that's how I was raised. Like, if anyone says stop something or they don't want it, like, okay, cool. And it's like, you don't get upset about it. You just stop. Like, they don't want it anymore. Like, that's whatever you're doing, whatever you're bothering them. Like, like I annoy you. And it's like, uh, whenever you're like, stop it. I'm like, okay. <laughs> i go on and do something else. I'll bother you later. <laughs> like, oh, but that's the that's a problem. But you bother me if also. You but say it's, that that way. But it, Wait, You're like, mean? okay, I'll stop for now, but I'll try again later. No, we'll, we'll try again Ooh, with something else. Caught you. Know, you. Whatever. <laughs> you do the same thing. Like, you'll be doing, you'll be like poking me or whatever, and I'm just like, stop it. And then, like, later, you'll like, I'm walking by you and you slap my butt. And I'm like, mm. stop it. <laughs> Yo, can you stop poking me? See, look at that. I See, listened. St- Listen now, <laughs> but give it like another hour. You'll be doing something else. And I'm like, stop it. And I am not the only butt slapper in this relationship. <laughs> so don't even try it. I'm like, stop. That's where I see there's equality. Women like men's butts too. Oh my God. <laughs> now we good, bro. No. No, we good. We like the booty. No, we good. Oh man. So <laughs> I want to get into this next relationship advice as uh-huh. we're, we're circling all, all, these, all these things in this episode here. Uh-oh. I feel like this is another relatable one. It that is, is long. It is hella long. Can you summarize? It is hella long. Can you um, summarize? I'll try my best. Okay. But to put it simply, this this girl has a default coping mechanism because of her her family and like her upbringing. Okay. Um, she pretty much does a shutting down and does the silent treatment, which is putting a strain on her relationship. Um. She to give you some background. She has Asian parents. Um, she wasn't allowed to be upset over anything because they provided food, shelter, you know, nice materials is what they pretty much told her. Right. Um, it doesn't matter if they were making really disparaging comments about her. She would actually get into trouble. Wait, I would actually get in trouble and screamed at for showing any emotion other than happiness. And when they were mad at her. Um, she had to grovel and hide. Um, yeah, so I'm just giving you some just brief backstory because this is pretty long. So pretty much, she's a lot of her upbringing has not been the greatest, and now she's in a relationship and she's given her partner the silent treatment in fear of like her saying hurtful or mean things to this person, and this is kind of like what she she does. Hmm. Um. What are your thoughts on this one? Because I, I thought this was interesting because I know we've dealt with that whole silent treatment thing. I mean, it sounds like she. So when trauma happens in your childhood with parents, you can usually it's like you're either going to copy them or go the extreme opposite. That's what kind of happens. Is oh, yeah. When you're tra- and traumatized by something, period, you usually either repeat it or you do the ex- exact oh, opposite. I, I, I'm doing the and opposite. Usually. <laughs> but the funny thing is usually both those have consequences yeah you kind of have to have that medium so for her it's like she went the opposite so she's trying to be silent because she's scared that she's going to act like her parents is what it sounds like yep but with silence you're not going to get anywhere either yep so because we learned that in uh and so like in our relationship like that was like an issue it's like we had an issue and then like You'd be silent and didn't want to talk oh, to me. Oh, he's just pointing at me. No. The one who leaves the room and, never... then, and then is silent for the rest of the night. No, but I, I took that from you. Like, I learned that from you, so sure. I copied it. I never... 
I'd never got in fights with my parents like that where you I had to be like silent. You did it like a month ago. So for you being like, oh, I've learned. And oh, no. I'm a month so much ago, better now. And that disagreement, that was like, it was just getting too heated. And I hate repeating myself. And I was just like, hey, oh, I'm done. I'm mm-hmm. done. I'm not repeating this. Mm-hmm. I'm going to go off somewhere else. Mm-hmm. That's what that was. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's mm-hmm. different than me. Just like, it. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yo, I hate you. Mm-hmm. I hate you. All right. True. All right. You put me on blast. I'm going to put you on blast. Right. I don't care. <laughs> blast away. Like, <laughs> shoot. But as I'm saying, like, we had this issue. I don't think it's too much. I do think, to add to what you're saying, that if it is getting, like, that point where it could be explosive <laughs> and heated and all that stuff, that, like, yeah, you should probably leave the room. Well, yeah, time apart isn't bad. It's where silent treatments become... <laughs> silent treatments could go on for days or weeks and that's like ridiculous. if you re- if you really let them and if you two like both of you no one's willing to break that's when it gets pretty bad cuz you're literally never going to move forward and and that's and the, then you're just stewing in it too that's not fun well and that's the issue that she's having with her her boyfriend is cuz like he's like he's saying you're being immature like like we have to talk about whatever whatever the issue is and it's like she's just not for it well also it just sounds like she doesn't have the skills to do it either though which i get it's like you have if you grew up in one thing and now you're expressing it the other way because you don't want to repeat you you're trying so hard not to do something wrong or be negative so that but you don't know how to do it in a healthy way so she has to actually like go back and learn that now which is fair. So what you're telling me is this person would have to go seek therapy to learn and talk about this more. Probably, but also just, or just learn it, you know? Look but up, it's not something like, that you just... No, but she could even start by just looking up. Like, there's, you can start by looking stuff up online and like, you know, I, you know, if I do this, how do I do this? Or like, if, you know... If I'm upset about this, how should I handle this? Or if the, the, this person makes me feel this way, like what? There's like, you can start somewhere. And also, the significant other has a responsibility to help them Yo, no. learn. No, we're disagreeing. We're disagreeing. <laughs> nope. I'm not helping someone that wants to be silent to me. If you want to get silent after we That's have some type of... That's not what it's f- about. You have to take yourself out of the mix right now. If you want to get silent as we're having a disagreement, that is not happening. You have to take yourself out of that. No. You have to... Because chances are he understands where she came from. No. It, he's calling her immature and that we shouldn't get married. You're not understand. Okay. I'm saying chances are she under- he understands where she came from in Oh, childhood. that's what you mean. Yeah, yeah. That means he, okay, sometimes you got to put two and two together and be like, okay, so she's likely reacting this way because of what she knows or what she's trying to deflect from or like trying to not repeat. (sighs) And therefore, yes, as a partner, you can help that person start to see the light. You can help that person start to like move forward. So if you're going to, if you're going to. Because you're taking it, this person now is taking it super personally when it might not be about him at all. It is. That's how she reacts to the situation. You're not understanding what I'm saying. Her reaction may not be about him. It may actually be more about her and her past and what she's not trying to repeat. Okay. She's trying not to sabotage this, but actually she ends up kind of self-sabotaging it okay but that's not her fault she's not trying to (laughs) doug okay so if you're giving all this tea tell her what she should what he or should start doing then like uh, you're you're giving all this talk but i'm like instead of him being super offended that she's doing the silent treatment or whatever talk to her about what she's been through in the past and how he can help her that doesn't help me because she's saying, I, I'm, I'm, as you're talking, I'm giving you more information to this because it was a long, mm-hmm. long read. And she's saying, like, you know, she needs, like, a full, like, breather type thing for, her, like, her to, like, possibly get out of this. So it's like, if those aren't helping, yeah. Like, I don't really uh, get that, like... 
if you, if I'm giving you that full breather and we still can't go and talk about the the whatever issue is happening, then what is it? I mean, to be fair, when you and I have breathers, you don't always want to talk about it either. Oh no, because I'm after I, the fact. Because when I when we get into disagreements, I'm not in a hot headed place. Like I'm, as much as like I may be like, yeah. <laughs> As much as I may be like loud or whatever, uh-huh. like I'm literally I'm thinking as we're talking, like I'm already like this is how it's going to be. And even when this conversation cools down, that's my side of it. Like I'm telling you the same things I'm going to tell you but if you we have were cool. To, no, when you cool down, you have to be able to then rationally talk about it on both sides. I'm always rationally talking. You are not. Yes, I You're am. Being ridiculous. Right yes, now. no, I always am. What are you? Yo, dog. Being loud is not rational. Well, being loud is a sign that someone's not listening, so you feel like you have to uh-huh. be loud. Uh-huh. <laughs> Seriously. I'm just saying. Like, that's a sign. So it's not about rational. That's not like a rational part. That's just that's just a sign. Stop. Okay, stop defending all your shit through this episode. Seriously. <laughs> You're literally defending all the stupid stuff you do. Yo, I'm defending you also. No. You get loud. I'm saying, yeah, I have problems in arguments, and that's why then I want to cool down and go back to talking about it like two adults. But a lot of, but, but you're always like, I'm gonna say the same. But thing. that's what I'm saying. You're not listening to what I'm saying. This is the issue. You know. So even when I'm loud or when I'm not, let's say if we had a cool conversation, I'm gonna be saying the same things because as you're saying things, I'm taking it in. I'm thinking about it. And then I'm saying whatever it is, Mm -hmm. whether Mm -hmm. my voice gets louder or higher for me personally, because I can't speak for other people. It doesn't change. Like the message that I'm saying does not change. You still need to be able to honor that person by talking to them later. But but we we always do that. I say that I'm not going to talk. I'm not going to continue with this because I'm going to say the same things. So it's more so, okay, what else do you want to say to this? Which then can have the opportunity to no, add what you want so to. Fired right now. Yeah, because you're you're guys, ta- you're talking like guys, we're totally you, innocent here, and it's BS. If you need to watch this on YouTube, she is getting like so so heated. Like, ooh, you for it on fire! Damn, mm-hmm. damn. Okay. Anyways, okay. like I was saying about this, their relationship, <laughs> theirs, just theirs, wink, wink, nudge, nudge, is that he needs to be able to help her get through this because clearly she's having issues because she had a very go. tough childhood and it is overwhelming for one person to go through. Therapy is amazing, but your partner still has to be supportive, period. I say go to therapy. <sighs> <laughs> and I say be a good boy. I'm going to just so, so I'm going to add more to this cuz I I feel like you're so vague in it and that's my issue. He can help, but if it continues and what I'm saying is not holding you accountable for also you communicating and thinking about whatever the heck we're, we're talking about then I feel like we need therapy to dig deeper into this. That's not even great. couples therapy. Probably just that. individual therapy. I understand that. I'm not talking. I'm talking about the relationship. Oh, relax. <laughs> relax. Take a sip of your water. Relax. Damn. Damn. Just, I'm going to spit it at you. Yo, just chill. I just feel like. I feel like when you're in that, like, you had, like, I feel like you have some type of form of PTSD. Who? The, the girl. Yes. Because when you're in that environment and, and you have to be fake happy to your parents, the people that freaking brought you into this world, you had no choice about it. And like there's their response to anything where it's like you always have to be happy. I don't give a fuck about anything that you have to say or whatever. You just always have to have a happy face. I give you food. I give you shelter. I give you clothes. She's basically doing the same. Oh, well, maybe she's not totally opposite. She's probably doing the same thing just in a different way. Because she's basically trying to not bring up anything that's, yeah, and that's, make it worse. That's her thing. She wants to be the opposite of which she wants to be silent because she doesn't want to say things that would be further an issue like her parents have done. They say things and it's just like, I don't, I didn't like these comments, so I don't want to give it to the next person is what she's doing. But with her not being able to properly communicate to, you know, to her significant other, like that's the issue. 
because I get it. I get what you don't want to say anything mean or anything. Her, he needs to make it feel welcome that she can do that, though. That's part of it. Because remember, she came from an environment. This is all she ever knew is that this is how you have to be, period. You cannot show anything besides happiness he needs to make her feel comfortable enough to do that say like yeah sure we're gonna get in arguments i may get upset i may get mad whatever you may get upset you may get mad that's fine we'll work through it Mm -hmm. but you need to be able to express that to me instead of being silent i'm not telling you to be just happy all the time i'm telling you to show me those emotions and that you're not going to run me away by showing me those emotions that's the that's emotions that's the kind of thing he needs to tell her why do we need emotions in conversation because you're not getting it she was told she can only be happy that's an emotion he needs to be like, you can do this, you can do this, you can show me this, you can act this way, you can, whatever. You're not going to run me off by being a human with multiple emotions. That's what he needs to ha- have, like, this welcoming environment first. Because she knows nothing else. She mm-hmm. probably assumes that she has to be this way with everybody. Or else it's going to be a problem. So that's where he has to do his job. Mm-hmm. Yes, it's on her. Yes, she has to work through these things. Yes, but that's where he can help. I agree. I'll give you that one. There. I Yeah. <laughs> Cuz I feel like when we've gone through this in the past, it's like like just talk. Like at the end of the day, I just want to communicate with this person that I plan on spending my life with. Like we can't just sit here and, and not talk about then whatever to, is the yes, issue. It's like that person needs to make it again okay and you know open arms without like I'm not gonna run away if you show a real emotion or if you of course we are a person. Of course we don't know that detail because it wasn't that detail in the in the long read there. But that but it might help to reiterate even if he said it once before it might help just to say it again every once okay. in a while. But I'm also not putting this totally on the guy. It's not totally, but I'm saying that's where he can play his part. Because okay. I'm sure that her feeling like she can't do this with anybody, it would help to hear that every once in a while. As it could it could help trigger something. I, if I was in that relationship, I would say, I'll do that, but you also need to work on yourself also. Yes, we, under- Babe, stop. we understand stop. that. Stop. Ah, ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> what the heck was that? <laughs> what? Like, oh, oh, ah. shh, 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 let me get this off. That sounds um, so wrong. <laughs> <laughs> you need so, to re uh, nah, 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 redo nah, those words. Nah. Um, yeah, I I agree. Um, yeah, as long as she's like is seeing some type of therapy or is working on this or is reading books or something, because I'm sure it's like books or, or yeah. videos from like oh, professionals. Great books about toxic parents. Okay. <laughs> we're not even gonna get into that one but yeah okay, okay. 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 <laughs> you threw me for a loop i was like wait what um, <laughs> like, thank you for your input <laughs> so i for this i'll say helper yes I'm all about someone helping themselves, and if I see you helping yourself, I have no problem helping that person. I just can't. I I have a problem with someone like just not helping themselves along with me helping them. That's my issue. So that's that's my thing. Well, yes, this. and I have a problem. I have problems with people when I'm helping myself, but they don't want to help with me. Okay. Are you taking <laughs> a shot at me in here, like the free? Shots fired. But uh, that's that's pretty much what I'm thinking. Um. Yeah, just communicate more. Three C's. What are they? Oh my god. I was. I'm saying. What are they to you? <laughs> like, damn. Uh, consent. Consent. Communication. Compromise. Hey. Oh boy, we can't get merch, guys. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, uh, all right. That'll be I, our first T-shirt. I think it's time. We got five different colors. I think it's time to wrap. Eight sizes. We're being this. inclusive. <laughs> Eight different sizes. Uh, I don't know. I would make a joke, but I'm not trying to be rude to anyone. Hey, to be fair, I'm like a, a, I'm, I'm like an extra, extra large because my shoulders are huge. It's not my fault. Yeah, that's what it is. 
Yeah. I mean, it's not my stomach, is it? <coughs> is it? Shoot. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, we're being inclusive. Extra, extra large, extra, 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 extra large. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. So we're gonna wrap this bad boy up. Um, a lot of relationship topics, things we got into on this one. I just thought like they they all fit everything. All these current events. Um. So guys, as always, what? I'm, I'm just I, I, one of these days I want you to do the intro outro again I did just like a couple weeks ago I know, it was funny that was funny uh, so guys if you're watching this on YouTube please give this video a like subscribe on YouTube on iTunes uh, wherever you listen to podcasts Spotify anchor all that stuff for new episodes every Tuesday and sometimes Friday I'll say <laughs> we should have one up this Friday um, as always I am the greater half of Paging the Simpsons, Shadell. Joined by the second greater half of Paging the Simpsons, my lovely fiance. She is. <laughs> and uh, we'll see. <laughs> Yo, give me your name. Lauren. Okay, you're such a weirdo. <laughs> and we'll see you guys this Friday. Bye. Peace.